We'll put that one on there for now. Oh, this one? Yeah. Because that's got the RTK unlocks on it. There's my monitor. So, you want to use that monitor to run with the mule, and then I'll put your monitor on the 46 today. Okay. So when I came out here the other day, I just brought the cables out. Or yeah. You had the cables already, but I just wanted to hook a couple of them up to make sure we had all the right connections. And we're going to leave everything that is John Deere on this planter. Um, you've got your John Deere clutch control module and then your John Deere C2 monitoring module. Those are going to stay there. We're going to throw the egg leader modules on. Uh, there's, we use the existing John Deere harnesses with the exception of the seed clutch. We've got an adapter cable that's about a foot long. We throw that on every clutch uh, to communicate with the, uh, with the egg leader system. And this is the egg leader cable uh, that we go to for the planter monitoring. So this, is, this cable is capable of doing up to 36 rows. <laughs> we need to do 12 in this instance, and that's why we have the different connections here. Um, we're going to put an egg leader uh, monitoring module on this planter that will plug into that. And then uh, that ties in back here uh, with the John Deere cable that's labeled seed sensors. So it's a really easy setup. Uh, seed sensor, uh, round amp type connector to the egg leader cable. And then the other cable that I had uh, was for the clutches. And that's another round connector right here. So this is the other egg leader cable. Plugs into the John Deere row command system. It says row clutches on the John Deere cable. That's where we plug in the egg leader row clutch cable. Um, I plan on putting the hydraulic downforce on this planter. And so we're basically going to have three modules, one for planter monitoring, one for the clutches, and one for the hydraulic downforce. So there'll be one cable implement cable coming from the planter back to the tractor to go into the monitor. And that's all it takes. Pretty easy setup, about a maybe an hour, hour and a half install for the planter monitoring, planter monitoring and clutch cables. And the hydraulic downforce is going to take a little longer, but uh, that's the one I'm most excited about. Cool. What, are, what exactly are we doing today? Uh, today we're going to do the planter monitoring and the clutches. Just the clutches? Okay. Yep. I've got some stuff on order for the hydraulic downforce. Okay. So as you may have guessed, Andrew's here, and he's going to start setting up uh, the egg leader monitoring on the planter. Uh, last year we used the John Deere monitor. Since we have the monitor from last year, or since we're, we got an egg leader monitor uh, for the combine, we can also use it for the planter, which is what we're doing. Um, we heard that egg leader setup can be a pretty good step forward, so we're going to mount it on the planter for this year. I was looking at where we want to put them. We're going to have that third one for the hydraulic downforce. Most guys on this type, type of planter um, are going to either put them, um, you could put them like right on here if you wanted to, or we could just use the existing brackets. That's up to you. It's really easy if we use this bracket, these existing brackets, we could use, use this bracket here. Um, We're going to need those, right? Well, I usually leave them on. Otherwise, you can put them in a box. As I say, why don't we just take them off and put, put them in a box? box. Okay. Yeah. There's no point in catching a stick for... Sure. Because you're going to be taking the connectors off anyway, right? The, uh... Actually... Yes. I'd rather take them off. I'm trying to think, though. On this one, if we read into it... Yeah, I believe it's all coming off. I better double-check the instructions, though. Right. Sometimes we have to leave them on, sometimes we have to leave them off. Okay. This one's coming off for sure. The other thing I wanted to show you since I'm here, I did grab one of those hydraulic actuators. Okay. So you can see it. It's in the truck. So we'll have one of these hydraulic actuators in place of where the airbags are on every row unit. Um, you're going to have hydraulic flow in and out from your valve box. I'm putting a two channel valve box on here. So you're going to have um, the center section of the planter as able to independent independently operate versus the wings because you're probably going to have more compaction behind the tractor so you'll be able to change your downforce in the center and then the wings uh, there are several row by row systems um, out there that we could put on the planter 
Uh, there's been so many orders for the system that they're back ordered probably past April 1st right now. So that's why we're going to go with a two, two channel system for you guys this year. But pretty, we use the existing bracket um, that the airbags are on. Pretty easy install. This is the anti rotation that sits in the back, just sits on the planter right like that. Hmm. So it's a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. Yep. Yeah, it's a nice system. So the new John Deere Exact Emerge systems are using this type of a hydraulic system. These so, are made by Don. So we have to have a dedicated line running from the tractor to run? Correct. To that's yep. why he kept asking me if we had three SCVs yeah. and if we had one available. Yet. Right. So I'm excited about putting that on. You said you're gonna mount auto track on this? Yeah. Do you have to have the RTK set up in it to use it? No, you don't have to. Are we gonna? Yeah. Right. I'm looking in there and those Are two. They different plugs? Yeah, they're different uh, rings on the inside. Actually, they're both the same thing. So I've already got our control uh, computer mounted in here, um, mounted right over the fender here next to the seat. Uh, this has a six axis gyro in it, so this is the OnTrack 3 system. It's a step up from the OnTrack 2 because it's a six axis instead of just a four axis system. So it's going to get a roll, uh, yaw, and pitch. Uh, it's uh, um, basically a leveling device and this is going to tell our monitor if we're on a side hill or not. So rather than uh, that monitor and that globe just guessing our accuracy and thinking we're on the level all the time, um, you can get off a little bit if you don't have some sort of a uh, tilt module or gyro system like we have here in our steering controller. Uh, so this steering controller is connected to the display cable. Um, we're in the middle of putting the display in here yet, but I've got our display cable just uh, kind of temporarily run this direction. I try to minimize how many cables are on the floor of the cab and uh, you know in invisible areas we're going to be able to tuck most of these cables away behind the seat. Um, here is the steering wheel pre-installation of the OnTrack system. So I wanted to get a quick shot of this before we install the system. This is the mechanical ring gear that actually turns that steering wheel. Uh, once we have the steering system installed. Um, this will be sitting actually underneath the steering wheel. Um, this comes apart here. There's a couple sections uh, That's gonna be sitting in there and then the mechanical drive is going to turn the wheel right or left uh, We actually also mount a anti-rotation device below the steering wheel to hold it in place So this is before installation. I'll go ahead and get started putting the ring gear in and Should be all set up so usually these are just left in the vehicle. Now you can buy a vehicle switch kit. There you go, so it just goes in there like that. That slides back in. So for customers that might have two or three tractors that they want to steer, um, you're gonna get one of these rings for each vehicle. It's around $600 for the what they call a vehicle switch kit. So this is gonna stay in the tractor all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's just the MDU, they call it the mechanical drive unit that you switch from tractor to tractor. Really? Yep. Yeah. 
All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, we've got the ring gear that I was putting on and I've got the mechanical drive unit on. See, there's a latch down here. It's just an easy disconnect. Pull that out. As I say, easy disconnect. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> Pull that out, goes right off. <laughs> and you can move it from tractor to tractor that way. So this is an anti-rotation pin that you saw mm -hmm. uh, that just fell on the floor. Um, so this anti-rotation pin uh, goes uh, in this bracket here. Yeah, it keeps it from sliding around. So slide it up as high as you want, and you're good to go. Cool. That's it. All right, new day, new me. We're gonna run some planter calibrations this week. We're gonna take that bat wing mower up and we're gonna start cutting some stocks. Unfortunately, it's a little difficult to be chopping stocks in the snow, and we can't do planter calibrations while there's snow on the ground either, um, being as that we need to go out into the field and run the planter to make sure that everything's functioning properly with it. Uh, so we probably won't be doing that this week. Uh, we'll probably wait until the snow melts, hopefully, by the end of this week. Uh, we should, I'm, I'm hoping to see all this snow gone. But until then, I think we're going to be running boundaries with the mule, uh, if we can. Travis did some boundaries the other day. Uh, I was planning on doing a little bit more than we could, but Travis came back and helped us with the planner because we realized that it's going to be a longer job than we thought. Um, so we didn't get as much footage as that as I would have liked with that. So um, I think we're going to be running boundaries here within the next few days, um, given that we can see where the boundaries are in the fields. So uh, that should be all for this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. And um, I'll talk more about the planner in a future video. So thanks for watching, guys.